Having a good time? Yeah. Woo. Well, Melanie did a great job at the speech. It was actually the, my speech, but anyway, let her read it. That's okay. No, actually, the reason why I'm here today, actually, is because uh, Cheng Li called me yesterday and she said to me, Arnold, I'm so proud of you. You're fighting for democracy. And um, I also know that you believe in free speech. And I said, of course I do. He says, you're good. You're giving one tomorrow morning at the Gromans Chinese Theater. So that's why I'm here today. But anyway, the bottom line is I'm here because I'm a good friend of Cheng Li Curtis and I had the pleasure of working with her uh, in True Lies. And uh, she was the most extraordinary actress that I've ever worked with. I mean, this is a serious, serious player that can kick some serious ass and has a fantastic timing with comedy, good dramatic acting. I mean, just look at the record. I mean, there's a lot of stars here in Hollywood. They have maybe one hit or two hits. This woman has hits for four, for more than four decades. Think about that. For more than four decades, one hit after the next. And it doesn't matter what genre it is, if it is comedy, if it is a love story, if it's an action movie, or whatever it is, she can do it. And I've seen it firsthand. So this is why I'm so happy that we're here today and that she's going to get immortalized with her footprint and with her handprints here. And it is, you know, when you look at, when you go online and you check out Jamie Lee Curtis, you can see the wonderful things that they're saying about her. But there's always one thing that really pisses me off. And that is when they say that she was a supporting, a supporting actress in the movie True Lies. Because she, she was not supporting, she was the female lead. She was the star. She was starring with me and she had a part of the title credit. So she was not a supportive actress. So that always pisses me off. And I hope you understand that. Because I know the value that she has. And so to be here today with all of you, I have to say that this is unbelievable memories. Because I got the footprint and the handprint here at the Gromans Chinese Theater in 1994 for True Lies. When True Lies came out, I was right here. And I was telling them here at the Gromans Chinese Theater, I said, let's just do a two for one. Give it to Jamie Lee Curtis too, the hand and footprint. But they wouldn't listen to me then. This is now almost 30 years ago. But now we are here to finally recognize the fact that she's an extraordinary, one of the best of the best actresses. So you deserve that to be here today. And what also I just want to mention is, is that when I was, when I came here to this country in 1968, one of the first things that the bodybuilding friends of mine did was bring me down here to the Grumman's Chinese Theater. And I remember I put my foot into the foot of John Wayne. And he didn't have hand prints, he has a fist print. Because, you know, he was a ballsy guy. So he was conscious and so he had a, foot, a fist print in there. So I, am, I remember taking photographs, my friends had the camera, and they took the photographs of that, and I was just dreaming. Maybe one day I can also be an actor, the leading man like John Wayne. So this is what those things do that you see around here. It's not only a great photo op, but it gives us great inspiration. So I know with Jamie Lee getting the day, the footprint and the handprint, there will be millions and millions of people coming by here and they will get inspired by her, by her footprints and handprints. Inspired that they also can make their dreams become a reality. So thank you very much, Jamie Lee, for being such a great, great inspiration for all of us. Thank you very much. You deserve it. Thank you.